In Greece, Kyriakos Mitsotakis is leading the polls to become the next prime minister. If his center-right New Democracy Party wins this Sunday, it'll mean a return to establishment politics. His own father was prime minister in the 1990s, and his win would go against Europe's drift toward populist leaders. <laughs> Greece itself may have reignited that trend with leaders like Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, whom Mitsotakis is up against. The economy has rebounded since the 2010 debt crisis. And Mitsotakis says he has a plan that'll make companies flock to Greece and convince the EU to trust the country. Vice founder Shane Smith sat down with him. You're inheriting a troublesome economic history. You have a lot of uh, debt. How do you do tax cuts if we're still having all of that debt and low growth rates? Well, the, the key challenge is to restore high growth rates. Where over the past four years with the current uh, government, we've essentially had anemic growth. Why was that the case? because there was no focus on changing the underlying structure of the economy, attracting investment, uh, uh, investing in productivity, investing in innovation. If the economy grows faster, our creditors are going to be happy because uh, the debt is going to be repaid more easily. Because of the high unemployment rate, especially for young people, you've had a brain drain. You've had a lot of young people leave Greece. How do you get them back to have these good jobs so you can increase your economic growth? It all starts um, uh, with, with companies investing uh, and creating jobs. Hence, we have to really convince everyone that the crisis really is over and that the long-term potential uh, of the country is, uh, is very, very positive. You still have anarchists. We've gone to some of these neighborhoods. You still have these groups. What is the plan to solve these, you know, these, these problems well, and not go back to extreme politics. I think you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, we saw the rise of extremism in, in, in Greece sort of before it emerged in the rest of Europe. Essentially, we were ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. What's happening now is very, very interesting. I think society realized that electing populists into, uh, into power is not a solution to you know, underlying economic problems. So essentially what is happening is a pendulum is swinging in the opposite direction. We are a moderate, center-right, liberal party. Then I trust Greek society to be mature enough to understand that after four years of populism, we need to try something different. Και πρέπει να σου πω ότι είμαι πολύ συγκινημένο που 30 χρόνια μετά τα έφερε έτσι ε, η ζωή να βαδίζω ε, στα βήματα του Κωνσταντίνου Μητσοτάκη. Ναι. With Brexit now happening, if there's another economic crisis, you know, God forbid, what, is, what do you see the future of the EU being? And is the EU successful in its current political state? The EU has been an incredible experiment yeah. in voluntarily granting sovereignty to a supranational entity. In an integrated world where we have on the one hand the US, on the other hand you have China, we have, we need a strong European Union. We're too small. So we need the European Union to be able to punch above its weights. Do we need to find the right balance between sovereignty and decisions taken at the European level? Yes, but this doesn't mean that we need to tear up the EU.